In a world where Pokemon was just a game, people spent hours training their virtual creatures and competing against each other. The Pokemon world was a place of wonder and excitement where trainers could catch and train creatures of all shapes and sizes. But one day, strange things started happening. People began to report seeing Pokemon in the real world, outside of their screens and devices. At first, many people thought it was a joke or a hoax, but as the reports continued to come in, it became clear that something was very wrong. Pokemon began to leave their virtual world and enter the real world, causing destruction and chaos wherever they went. Fires broke out, buildings were destroyed, and people were injured or killed by the creatures that had once been their pets and companions. The world was thrown into chaos, and nobody knew what to do. A young man named Tim was one of the best Pokemon trainers in the world, with a team of powerful creatures at his fingertips. He had always believed that the Pokemon world was a place of fun and adventure, but when the Pokemon began to come to life, Tim found himself in over his head. His once friendly creatures were now dangerous and unpredictable, and he was powerless to stop them. As the situation worsened, Tim realized that he was not the only one affected. All around the world, people were fighting for their lives against their own Pokémon, who were now wild and out of control. Governments and militaries were powerless to stop the outbreak, and soon the world was plunged into darkness and chaos. With nowhere else to turn, Tim joined forces with a small group of survivors to find a way to stop the Pokémon and restore order. They traveled to the source of the problem, a mysterious tower that housed the servers controlling the Pokémon world. There, they found a group of scientists who had been experimenting with the Pokémon, attempting to merge the virtual world with the real world. The experiment had gone wrong, releasing the Pokémon and causing the destruction that now plagued the world. The scientists had been so focused on their research that they had not considered the consequences of their actions. With the help of his Pokémon, Tim and the survivors fought their way to the top of the tower and destroyed the servers, hoping to restore the balance between the virtual and real worlds. But as they turned to leave the tower, they realized that the experiment had not ended with the destruction of the servers. One of the scientists had merged with the virtual world, becoming a powerful being beyond anything they had ever seen. And as they stood frozen in fear, the being let out a chilling laugh and spoke to them with a voice that echoed through their minds. You may have stopped my experiment, but you will never be able to stop me. I will always be here, watching and waiting for the day when I can start again and next time, there will be no stopping me. The survivors ran for their lives, never daring to look back as they fled the tower, uncertain of what horrors awaited them in a world forever changed by the power of technology. The survivors scattered in all directions, seeking refuge wherever they could find it. They lived in constant fear, always looking over their shoulders and never knowing when the being would return to finish what it had started. Years passed, and the survivors slowly began to rebuild their lives. They created new communities and started families, but they never forgot the horrors of the Pokémon outbreak and the chilling warning from the being that had merged with the virtual world. Generations passed, and the memory of the Pokémon outbreak faded into legend. But some whispered that the being still existed, waiting for the day when it would once again merge with the real world and wreak havoc on the unsuspecting masses. And so, the story of Tim and the survivors lives on, serving as a cautionary tale of the dangers of playing with technology that we do not fully understand. For who knows what other horrors may lurk in the shadows, waiting to be unleashed upon an unsuspecting world. But one day, the whispers turned into reality. People reported seeing strange anomalies in the sky, and strange voices in their heads. The new generation, who had grown up hearing the stories of Tim and the survivors as legends, started to believe that the being was not a monster, but a deity, a higher power that had returned to guide them. Temples were built in its honor, and people started to worship it as their god. They believed that the being had returned to protect them, and that it had the power to control their fate. The world was once again thrown into chaos, as different factions fought for control over the being and its powers. The new generation never knew the true nature of the being, and the horrors it had unleashed upon the world in the past. They had forgotten the lessons of Tim and the survivors, and had fallen into the same trap of playing with technology they did not fully understand. And so, the cycle continued, as the being watched and waited, ready to unleash its power again when the time was right. Thanks for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe.